What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob and welcome to the first Celebrating Disney video of 2023. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the 2004 animated film, Mulan 2. Fa Mulan gets the surprise of her life when her love, Captain Li Shang, asks for her hand in marriage. But before the two can have their happily ever after, the Emperor assigns them on a secret mission to escort his daughters, the three princesses, to Chang'an, China for an arranged marriage. Mulan 2, it's weird because Letterboxd says the film was released in 2004, but I distinctly remembered the film coming out in early 2005, so I don't know if it was it had an early premiere somewhere in 2004 or it came out in 2005, I don't know. I'd just say it came out in 2004 for the sake of context. This movie, of course, was a direct-to-video sequel to Disney's Mulan, a movie I've always been a fan of ever since I first watched it as a kid. Mulan was one of my favorite heroines growing up, and I've always enjoyed the adventure, the story, the theme to that movie, the animation, has some amazing action scenes in it, and some incredible musical numbers. Mulan 2, on the other hand, even as a kid, I knew something was off about this movie. I just remembered seeing it when it came out, being so excited to see another Mulan movie, but I remember being so crushly disappointed by this film. Has this movie gotten better with age, or is it a lackluster sequel? Friends, this is a lackluster sequel. I am still not a fan of Mulan 2 after all these years later. It's probably been a good, probably like 15 to 18 years since I've seen this movie, and... It's bad. It's honestly one of the worst sequels that Disney's ever put out. During this direct-to-video phase Disney was doing, particularly the Disney Toon Studio, I having rewatched this again on Disney Plus, it's now in my bottom three, honestly. This film is hot garbage. I I felt so I was so angry after watching Mulan 2 last night. It was terrible. I did not care for this movie one bit. As far as positives go, I, it's very it's very small. The animation is actually really good. Like it's uh, the animation style is on par with the original Mulan. Like some of the art styles and stuff. I'm glad that the movie was able to retain the style of the original and it didn't feel cheap compared to some of the other direct video sequels where you can tell the budget was limited. At least this one at least had some attempt to replicate the style of the original, and I respect that. And I like that you know most of the voice talents returned to reprise their roles, especially Ming Na Wen and BD Wong as Mulan and Shang. There could have been something with this, I guess, if the movie was made in the right hands, I guess. But that's all my that's all my positives. This movie is not good. Uh, there's just so many issues that I have with this movie, and a lot of it has to do with the story. For one, the movie really wants you to believe that Mulan and Shang are madly in love with each other when I never felt that even in the first movie. I guess you can make the implication that when Shang uh, visits Mulan at the very end of the first movie, uh, there's like a hint of romantic affection there, but I always thought that as a sign of genuine friendship and appreciation that, you know, she saved his life, he repaid her life, and, you know, they have a sign of mutual respect between the two characters. But I never once felt like in the first movie that, oh, they're a couple now. And so by the time you get to the beginning of Mulan 2, they're like happily in love and they're about to be engaged and get married. Yeah, really hard sell there, movie. And the chemistry was not there between Mulan and Shang in this movie. I never bought them as a couple, and the movie did not do a good job of making me believe that, especially once the story goes along when they're on this mission. Speaking of missions, you know how in the first movie, Mulan was risking everything to save her people, particularly her own father, where she disguises herself as a man to be part of the army and defeat the enemy and be the hero of her people and stuff? Yeah, that's such a compelling story, and uh, Mulan was willing to risk a lot even her own life for that uh she's such an awesome character that had to learn and grow along the way and overcome her own fears 
Well, this movie did not do any growth of Mulan as a character because this movie does not have any action in it. This is not an action-centered Mulan movie. No. What is Mulan doing in this movie? Well, she and Shang are protecting the Emperor's daughters, these princesses, and uh, they're assigned to take them to another part of the country or whatever for an arranged marriage to keep the peace or whatever. And what do you know? The three princesses end up falling in love with uh, those other soldiers that uh, Mulan hung out with in the first movie. And it turns into a Hallmark movie, pretty much. And they even overdo the whole, oh, my passion is in my heart. And it's that whole nonsense that you see in a lot of those movies. Yeah, this is not an exciting movie. They turn Mulan, one of the dopest female heroines, into a rom-com. And it is horrible. I did not like any of the romances in this movie. Uh, they're very stock, cliched, boy meets girl, falling in love at first sight nonsense that, you know, you can do in some cartoons, but when you're making it the main focus, it's very cartoonish and unbelievable that it took me, it took me out of the movie. And the whole overdone of the follow your heart message is very flawed in this movie because we're dealing with these three princesses where if they don't marry the suitors in this arranged marriage, the other people are going to invade and kill them off. And Mulan's telling him, Oh, my duty is to my heart. And that's not really the appropriate message in a situation like that. Maybe do peace talks or whatever. And then maybe if they ditch that and they can fall in love with the other guys. But what if they say no? If these princesses still did that, those other people are going to wipe them out anyway. So there's it doesn't make sense half the time. Uh, the message that Disney's trying to preach, mixed with the culture of Mulan and the characters that we follow, it don't work. It doesn't work. And so I was just so frustrated by the choices all these characters were making half the time. Even Mulan becomes an idiot in the third act of the movie where she thinks Shang has died or whatever, and she's like, well, I'm going to give up my own character just to marry that random dude just for nothing or whatever. I'm like, no. Just stick with what you originally planned. I'm like, oh, I, I cannot stand this movie. And I, I haven't even mentioned the biggest unforgivable sin Mulan 2 commits. What they do to Mushu, one of the best comic relief characters in the entire Disney canon, is awful. One, they did not get Eddie Murphy back. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he was busy doing Shrek 2 or whatever. I don't know, but... It's so obvious it's not Eddie Murphy, so the comedy with Mushu falls flat because you don't have the original actor back. And two, they turn Mushu into a jerk face because he's very selfish about his... He has his own pedestal or whatever with the ancestors, and the ancestors tell him that, oh, if Mulan gets married to Shang, he's going to be thrown off his pedestal because Mulan's not going to be there anymore, so... So he schemes to break Mulan and Shang up just so he can keep his job or whatever. I have never seen a character be massacred like that in a sequel in my life along with Charlie Day's character in Pacific Rim 2. Uh, it is so horrible seeing the character transition from hilarious comic relief who does have selfish motivations but still was willing to help Mulan out along the course of the journey to somebody who's just plain despicable. And it is so off-putting to see. why I don't know why they made the idea to make Mushu technically the villain of the movie. It's awful. I did not enjoy Mulan 2. I hated it as a kid. I still hate this movie now. It's easily among the worst directed video sequels out there. For me, it's in my bottom three along with Atlantis, Milo's Return. Bell's Magical World is still my pick for the worst Disney sequel, mainly because... That one made me hate the characters that I love so much in the original movie, and it insulted my intelligence. This movie at least has good animation and good voice work, I guess, but I didn't care for the new songs. The storyline turning Mulan into a rom-com was so stupid. The messaging is all over the place, and I hate how they turned Mushu into a villain. 
That was awful. It's a terrible movie. I don't recommend it, especially if you love the first movie. And one final thing, considering so many people hated the live action move on from 2020, at least the remake, there was an attempt to try to tell the story and be do a respectful job on it. Say what you will about the remake, uh, the many controversies, and whether you like the movie or not. I personally thought the live action remake was more enjoyable at the end of the day because it at least attempted to tell the story decent and it has good action scenes at least. This movie had none of that. Turning Mulan into a romantic comedy is an absolute joke and I thought this movie is a big slap in the face of the original Mulan. Now to quote the real Mushu for my final thoughts on Mulan 2. All right, that's it. Dishonor. Dishonor on your whole family. Make a note of this. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Well said, Eddie Murphy. As for me, I'll be giving Mulan 2 a 1 out of 5 stars, and on the 100-point scale, it's getting a 12 out of 100. So that wraps up my thoughts on Mulan 2, my first celebrating Disney video of 2023. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can check out my celebrating Disney playlist featuring all the many animated and live action reviews that I've done on this Celebrating Disney series. I have a lot of Disney reviews planned throughout 2023, animated movies, live action movies. Uh, I'm going to dive into some short films in the world of animation this year as well. Be on the lookout for some exciting Celebrating Disney content all throughout 2023. And join me next week on Celebrating Disney where I'll be diving into my first live action review of 2023, which will be for the Disney sports film Invincible, starring Mark Wahlberg. Be on the lookout for that video coming next week. And if you've seen Mulan 2, what are your thoughts on this direct video sequel? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. This is your first video. Besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!